I'm sure you've heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So two months ago, my husband put in a lump sum towards his mortgage bond for his um, first house. And then now when he wanted the money, the bank said that no, the access bond has been closed yet the money went through but now the money can't come out and they say that he'll have to give it like six to twelve months because before they can even release the money and they know that in like six to twelve months maybe you won't even be needing the money anymore so on today's video i want to tell you what we normally don't tell you when it comes to your mortgage yes we do say that mortgage when you pay it off early it becomes an asset it has equity you can qualify even for more loans but it's much better to have cash in a liquid form or to have those assets as well that can be translated into cash in a very short space of time because you know with your house if you are to sell your house that process might even take like six to twelve months or even quite longer that is why also when i left my job to go into self-employment i did not take my cash and my pension to pay off my mortgage bonds that is not what i did because i wanted the flexibility i wanted to have control over my money because once you put it and settle your bond you might find that the bank will no longer want to refinance you i know a lot of stories of people who had so much equity in their bonds and the banks did not want to refinance them similar to this house that we've bought the owners had paid so much into the house and they were hoping that the bank was going to refinance them again now when they were struggling with cash now when they were no longer making an income but the banks refused yes yeah, settling your house early will give you that peace of mind but if your tap runs dry or you lose your income, you stand also a greater chance of losing the house that you've paid so much money for. I know of people who have settled their house, but now because they've run out of their cash, they are forced now to sell their house so that they can have money for food, money for travel, money for school fees. So that's why it's important when you are still making an income, find a balance on how you are saving and investing and also on how you are settling your bond find that middle ground but it's always important to be making an income always strive to be making an income and if you are worried on what's going to happen to your maybe children or your uh, if you are a breadwinner and you are worried what's going to happen if your house is not settled you can get the assurance uh insurance so that they can pay over the bond once you are no more so if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to like and also to leave your comment stay blessed